the last hymn is found on page 507 as the Holy Spirit witness between 8 and 9 this morning. Would you stand? have on and the, and the uh, presages, my wife and my mother are from Jim and Virginia and the congregation there. And uh, they sent us a letter and I wanted to read that before the benediction, March the 2nd, 1985. That was yesterday. Dear Pastor Oliver, never ceases to amaze me how the Lord continually helps you to give and give with rejoicing. Thank you for your faithfulness and obedience. I am delighted about the revelation for Terry and Kathy and family to be at Maranatha Fellowship. Since the confirmation came from God's servant, my heart has been stirred. I have been lifted and excited in my soul. Thank you for the great help you have always been to me and my family. Thank you for getting us to Reverend Ham. Because of that obedience, all of these other leadings have been able to take place. It is my prayer that God will give you the desires of your heart and may you receive double honor this day. May God grant favor unto you, Barbara, and your family, whom I love very much, your sister in Jesus, Virginia Ruth Wright. This is to Mother and Daddy. Dear, dear Pop and Mom Hope, it is a great honor and thrill to have one of your sons and his family to be with us on staff. Thank you for raising such wonderful children who have all been a blessing and encouragement to us. We feel to have a Hope with us is one of the most wonderful things that could happen to any fellowship. We are excited. We know God is going to reward Terry's faithful praying and waiting upon God. Thank you for your faithfulness and obedience to be in the right place and believe the report of God's servant. That is really how all of this possible uh, is possible today. Words aren't adequate enough for our heartfelt appreciation and admiration for your dear people. You truly are sweethearts to us. We know you will miss Terry, Kathy, and children in worship. We will do our best to take good care of them. May God lift you to the heavenly places this day. 
May your heart soar in the high places. All three of our staff members and Thomas Young, our great helper, have all been under Pastor Oliver. What an honor to such men. With great appreciation, we left you, James and Virginia Wright. That's to my mother and daddy, and of course, these roses and presages are from them. So, elders, if you'll take your place, my daddy by my side, we'll give the benediction this morning. I will go down, but I will return <laughs> by God's grace. And I want the privilege of privilege of introducing Terry or presenting Terry, the all knowing presenting. Mom and Dad will hear him preach tonight. Uh, and one other family will be there uh, because it's important that to be there. The rest, I hope, will be with us. <laughs> Who knows what God may do with us? Sure. Yes. If it could be any ways near like it was Wednesday night, it would be one of the most wonderful places to be there ever was on the face of the earth. Amen. And uh, how Jesus has had mercy to anoint us here this morning. Thank you for your patience in overtime, but you can see why sometimes it's necessary to have overtime. Yes. And we're thankful. And now, receive the blessing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.